This short video is recorded in order to show you the simple steps that you need to follow in order to complete your online homework assignments. The first step is to log in into your Blackboard account using a laptop and ADU credentials. Then you have to select our course of study. On the left side of the screen, please click on Pearson content and it will associate you with the publisher technology. Then click on my lab statistics homework and it's going to show all the assigned homework so far and you'll be able to view homework one on chapter one and the due date is shown on the screen as you see. Please click on Homework 1, Chapter 1. It will move you to this page where you will be able to view the details of the assigned homework, like the due date and the number of questions and the number of attempts per question and so on. You can either click on the Start button to start answering the questions or you can click on Question 1 or any other question. Let's start with the order that we have and then click on the start button. This is the first question and the platform as you see is user friendly where you'll be able to view all the questions on the left side of the screen. For example, uh, you want to move to question 2 and read the question 2. Uh, you can do that if you want to move for example to question 6 to read question 6 you can also do that you want to go back to the first question it's also uh, possible um, you'll be given also the opportunity to connect with the textbook for example uh, there is a question here and uh, you want to do further reading you can just click on the textbook here and then it's uh, going to connect you with um, the specific topic that is related to this particular question within the textbook. Of course, um, other features are already there, like for example, uh, if you want to get help um, uh, through the stat crunch or uh, asking the instructor, all these options will be given to you. Some questions are, as you see, uh, MCQ questions. Uh, other questions are questions where you need to give an answer. For example, uh, let's try to solve this question. Find sigma x for the following values of x. So uh, suppose I want to uh, uh, answer the question and let's assume that this is the answer. It's, uh, it's a random number and of course it's a wrong answer. Um, I want to check my answer. I just need to click on uh, the red button um, uh, on the uh, uh, down uh, right corner and then it's going to show me that that's an, an incorrect answer. Um, if you want to uh, 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 try and, and, and make a second attempt, you can do that. And then, of course, um, uh, you can correct the answer. Uh, there are certain features here and certain buttons. Like, for example, if there are uh, certain notations required and you want to input them into your answer, you can put uh, uh, the mathematical signs and notations uh, depending on the requirement of the question. Of course, I can move to other questions and then answer. Um, uh, and then, um, uh, are you sure you want to continue without changing? Yes. Uh, so far, I don't want to change the answer. I want to leave the attempt. And now you can, for example, manage um, uh, your study plan by yourself if you want to answer five questions now and then uh, the next day another five questions you just need to uh, hit the button save here and then it will save your work and um, then you can uh, start again uh, the uh, 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 answering the questions of the homework thank you very much for uh, your listening and watching this video and um, I wish you all the best in your online homework assignments.